Okay, here's the first of uh, two exercises I'm going to show you. Um, so you, I'll do the other exercise in a separate video, so make sure you keep your eyes open for that. This is um, a, an exercise that we use uh, for someone who has a shoulder issue, not necessarily an injury, but a weakness around the upper traps. Um, most people avoid working the upper traps um, for obvious reasons that they create a lot of problems in the neck pain and, and, and just trigger points and all types of stiffness. And I'm just playing the video here so you can get an idea of what I'm going to talk about and then I'll go back and explain it for you. But this is a, a what most people might be familiar with is a shrug. All right? And you can sort of see here, when I just take that back a bit, um, you can see how the he basically what Nathan's doing here is he's bringing his, his shoulder right up to his ear and, and it's heavily involving the upper trap that you can easily see. So he's trying to sort of pull his... Uh, up towards that way. All right. Now, most people think, why the hell would you do that for someone with with a uh, neck pain and shoulder pain? Well, just because they have trigger points around there doesn't mean the muscle's very strong. In actual most cases, it's actually very weak, and especially if the person's done a lot of exercises that are deadlifts and rows and chin ups, and they've sort of been actually pulling the shoulders down and back in in intention of improving posture. Um, when actually it's a, creating huge problems in the rhomboids and the middle traps that are um, really stuffing up how the scapula moves because there's a couple of things that happen here. Firstly, the lower traps try to pull the scapula down. The serratus anterior, which is the, probably the key to the hole, is trying to tilt it up. But the, lower, the upper traps are also playing a role in that scapula and pulling it that way. And quite often, um, what we'll see is that it, the rhomboids are just so grabbing onto it so hard that the levator scap and other muscles start doing it. and that's why people get headaches coming you know, right down here um, you know, and that awful sort of tension through that region. So, so when we know and when we see a, a shoulder say like this it's heavily depressed we know that there's pretty much atrophy in this upper trap region so very likely that they're going to fatigue like any muscle if it's really weak it's going to fatigue and it's going to develop trigger points to create a better, um, an alternative to stability. So this is, a, you know, so shrugs are the typical one where the arm might be by the side and people just lift vertically up. But as we've just sort of discussed, that's not really a great way. The line of pull is actually more this way, all right? So we, we want to encourage it to go that way. And so by having this um, arm out away from the, sh from the, the body, it's roughly a 30 degree angle here, um, it does a couple of things. Firstly, it helps the person get the scapula in a better place, so it's actually already gets the upward rotation sort of already originating. So I'll just play it for you, um, and you'll, you'll see when he sort of sets it there that that it's it's actually in a better position to pull, and there's a lot more space at the top of the shoulder there. So as he's as he's gently pulling up, see it won't get jammed because there's a lot of space still. So this is a great introduction exercise and we might keep the load quite light, do as many as 15 or 20 reps and that person to feel the upper traps working but without, so you've got to be careful, you've got to, you want to strengthen it but don't go crazy on it because you will just instantly overactivate everything. So this is retraining the upper traps to work in their role of, of upward rotation with the scapula set in the mo in the correct position as opposed to it sort of winging and huge activation in this rhomboid region. All right, so it's one of the hardest things to do is try and find ways to strengthen upper traps when there's trigger points and you know the muscle's weak, but all the exercises that you usually use just make things worse. So this is one of the ways that you can bring in in the early stages to help that person get some, uh, some gradual strength and then it can lead on to other things you know in, in, in that you in the overhead movements because you'll find that overhead movements are just so difficult to get all right so this is quite a unique exercise um, I encourage you to have a go this is you know it's one of the things I've been working on lately several people that have, have that heavily depressed shoulder tr and I'm trying to find ways to get stronger shoulders um, because you know it's very hard often to get that right sometimes so all right so i hope you've enjoyed that video and stay tuned for the second one because it's it's another one that's sort of along the same line and it's at the progression of this one all right see you in a second